My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about the Summer Solstice Collection from NARS. Now according to the Nordstrom site, this collection is a Nordstrom exclusive, but when I googled this it did pop up for sale at Saks Fifth Avenue, so I don't really know how that works. Is it a Nordstrom exclusive? So that doesn't seem super exclusive to me. I only picked up two of the pieces from this collection. So there's also a couple of cream bronzers and a bronzer brush that I opted not to pick up. These pieces are pretty darn expensive. So I picked up the Cheek Duo and the eyeshadow palette. Let's start with the Summer Solstice Cheek Duo. This is priced at 45 US dollars. The smaller section on top here is labeled as a highlighting powder and then below is a bronzing powder or you could mix them together for an all over glowy cheek or you could put them on your eyes if you wanted to. You could use them as a body bronzer because this is pretty large pan. Basically it's your makeup and it's powder. You can do whatever you want with it. You can put it in your eyebrows, put it on your elbows. I'm not here to judge you. Now before I give you a close-up look at this bronzer which I'm going to do because it is very pretty, I have to let you know this is extremely extremely fragranced. I mean this is a strong strongly scented product. I don't know why. I feel like I haven't really seen anything like this from NARS before. I've used quite a few of their bronzers and other cheek products and I have never had such a strong wave of perfume slap me in the face as I opened one of their powders before. I'm not sensitive to fragrance. I'm not allergic to it. I don't mind it. And a lot of the time I actually like to have scented makeup. This is way too much for me and I do find it unpleasant. So do with that information what you will. This very strongly smells like perfume. A lot. Now let's take a close-up look at the compact. I love this packaging. I think it is so so beautiful. It's simple but it's exciting. It's still got a little bit of that edgy elegance that is oh so very NARS. This does have a locking clasp closure and it is quite impossible to open just like usual for NARS. There is a nice big mirror inside here. Very very useful large mirror. And then when you take a close-up look at the pan, you can see that same beautiful burst type of design in the powder here. There's a very golden highlighting powder on top and then the bronzer here. The bronzer is sort of a sheeny, glowy powder as well, so it does seem to work really well together, these two finishes. The powders don't have shade names beyond highlighting powder and bronzing powder, so I think they're just Summer Solstice Highlighter and Summer Solstice Bronzer. I want to show you a swatch of these powders. That way you can see the highlighter and bronzer swatched out individually. And I also want to show you what both powders look like mixed together because they do work really, really nicely together if you're looking for an all over glowy cheek look or if you're just really into shimmery golden bronzers, then this could also be a great option for you. Next, let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. This is the Summer Solstice eyeshadow palette. We've got nine eyeshadow shades in here, a very warm neutral with a dash of red. Not an overwhelmingly unique color story, but I am somebody that enjoys neutrals and color, so I'm not mad at a neutral palette. The palette is priced at $49. And we are getting a couple of repeat shades in here. I know that I recognize these two, Delirium and Seven Heaven. Pretty sure those were in the Wanted eyeshadow palette, which I absolutely loved that palette. I'll search around and see if any of these other shadows are repeats from other palettes and I'll just put that information either up here on the screen or down in the description box for you. We've got the same style of packaging on the eyeshadow palette, but this is a slightly different color. Cheek Duo is more of a dark bronzy and the eyeshadow palette is a lighter golden tone, but it's the same design, same styling. 
And these powders are the same size. I don't know, something about that is just very pleasing to me. I'm knowing that I can store them together and they'll fit together. Maybe that's weird, maybe that's just me. Wouldn't be the first time. We've got the exact same impossible to open locking clasp closure. Big mirror again in here. And then we'll take a close up look at these eyeshadows. There are only two matte shades and there seems to be overall three different finishes in here. We have some really silky opaque metallic shades and then we have some really shimmery glittery not quite toppers but not as opaque as the more metallic counterpart shimmers. You'll be able to tell the difference a little bit more once you see this palette all swatched out. Then on the back all the shade names are listed for the shadows inside. Let's take a look at the swatches of this Summer Solstice Eye Palette. I am going to do both finger and brush swatches on the inside of my arm with no primer down first, just the shadows straight onto my skin. The finger swatches will be pictured on top and then each corresponding brush swatch will be directly below. As always, for my brush swatches, I'll be using my L Flat Eyeshadow Brush and I'll clean off in between each shade using my Vera Mona Color Switch. That way there's no shadow transfer between swatches. So let's take a look at those swatches now. Now that you've seen the palette swatched, I want to go ahead and show you a little demo tutorial using both of the products that I picked up from the Summer Solstice collection, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. I don't quite know how to feel about these products. First of all, let me just say, I love the styling. The packaging is really pretty. It fits the products inside. The whole theme seems very cohesive and overall just really nice. Perfectly summertime, glowy, bronzy, shimmery. I love all of that. I don't even mind that it's super basic. I embrace my inner basicness and I like it. Now the cheek duo, I love the look of it both in the pan and on my cheeks. It was really effortless to apply. It looks really really natural. It has a beautiful golden glow. I love it. I think it looks fresh. It looks very summery. 
I feel like a glowy bronzy goddess and that's exactly what I want if I'm gonna pay $45 for a cheek duo. I think it looks really pretty in the pan. It looks pretty on my cheeks. I love all of that. However, I hate how heavily fragranced this is. It smells so strongly and like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not somebody that is very sensitive to that type of thing. Typically, kind of a fan of having scented makeup it adds to the whole sensory experience for me. Not this, it's offensively scented and I'm so sad that is the case. Even if it was a better scent, if it was like a sweet coconut type of smell, sort of a summery suntan oil, type of smell, I would probably like that because I think that would add to the experience for me. But this is a strong, perfumey, florally perfume type of smell and it's just, it's too much for me. It almost kind of gives me a headache and I'm so sad because it looks beautiful. I want to love it, but I know that I'm not going to enjoy using this because it's so stinky. Also kind of sad to see that they didn't do two versions. Typically NARS with their cheek products and their face palettes, they have been historically pretty good about offering a lighter and a deeper version and that's something that made me enjoy reviewing NARS products because I felt like there was going to be something for a lot of you who choose to watch me and we all have different skin tones and I liked being able to use, enjoy, review, recommend something that was going to be useful for everybody or at least most people watching, and I'm just a little disappointed that they didn't offer two versions of this cheek palette. I wish they would have done that. If there was a deeper version of this available and this didn't have fragrance in it, I would love it, but I'm just kind of left wanting more. Speaking of wanting more, <laughs> let's talk about this eyeshadow palette. I'm not mad that this is a warm neutral palette. Fits the theme, something that I like to wear. I think a lot of people like to wear these colors as much as those of us that are more active participants in the beauty community may bemoan the constant release of warm neutral palettes. They're useful. It's what a lot of people like to wear. It's a smart move for companies to keep releasing shades like this because that's what most people like to wear. And frankly, I like to wear it too. So there you go but I am left wanting more matte shades. <laughs> There's only two matte shades in here. There's seven shimmers. I like a shimmery eye look. I'm all about a shimmery eye look. I think this really could have benefited from maybe even just one or two more matte shades. I would have loved to see a red matte that could have really turned up the volume on this palette and made it a little bit more complicated, a little bit more versatile. And I'm also left wishing for one deeper shade if I wanted to do a really sultry, smoky type of look. I often like to use the deepest shade in a palette for a smudgy faux liner. I'm missing a little bit more matte options and I'm missing a deeper option. I like the performance here. I like the formulas and the different textures of the shimmers. I think my eye look is really pretty. This is the type of thing that I will wear all the time, especially if I'm not trying to do something a little bit more exciting for a video. This is the type of eye look I will easily just grab a couple brushes, take five minutes, put on a more basic neutral eye look like this. Colors are fine, performance is fine. I'm just missing a little bit, especially for a $50 palette. I don't want to be left feeling like I need to supplement a $50 palette that only has nine shades. I feel like if you're going to curate something down that small and make it that expensive, I'm expecting it to be really, really on point. So there are things that I liked and things that I disliked about both of the products that I chose to buy from this collection. Overall, I don't really feel like they were worth the price tag. I paid almost $100 between these two things and I don't feel like I am necessarily getting my money's worth because I'm going to have to supplement some extra shades to get all the looks that I want from a neutral palette and I'm going to have to supplement this bronzer with some Advil because the fragrance gives me a headache. Definitely not their best effort in my opinion, but 
I'm still a fan of NARS formulas. You know, I'm just gonna hold out hope for the next one. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this collection. Did you have a totally different experience? Do you love these? Are they on your wish list? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Simple Google sh 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 <laughs> Awesome, doing great. What? Where was I? Okay, great. Nailing it. At least I have a really pretty glow today. There's always that. Okay, focus. Now, the bronzing, the bronzer duo, what is this? Cheek duo? What? I don't need to know the name of it, I'm just reviewing it. Ooh, was that too shady? Too far or just far enough? Because I want it to be funny, I don't want it to be mean. <laughs> Gotta find that line, you know. So that's good. Great. Grand. Um, I've got a lot more to do today, so just know that I love your face. You're doing a good job. Hang in there. You know? It's gonna be. You're, you're gonna be alright. We're all here for you, and we all love your face because it's so precious and cute. Okay. Alright. Was that weird? Did I make it weird this time? Sometimes I do that. Anyway, love your face. Bye.